Hey everyone, we're excited to introduce you our brand new pillar system. The easiest way to create your own pillar style game in UEFN without writing a single line of verse. Just use your creativity and go absolutely wild. The system includes all the essentials. Random item drops every 5 seconds just as in a classic pillar map. A custom round system so eliminated players don't have to wait in spectator mode and they can do something else in the meantime. And best of all, fully customizable events like low gravity, rising lava, double damage and more. Even total beginners can create amazing gameplay moments in just minutes with this template. In this video, I'll walk you in depth through everything the system has in store. All the footage from this video is directly from the template map that is included when you buy the system, so no surprises. So, when players join your map, they'll spawn in a fully customizable lobby area, even if a game is already running. You can use this lobby area for mini games, parkour, or just so people can spectate. It helps boost playtime and make sure players don't get bored of spectating. Once the match starts, players spawn on a random pillar and a random event kicks off. In this system, you can create your own events. We made it by you mix and matching these three event types. The first event type is an item on start. This basically gives every player something fun right away, like an impulse grenade or a grappler. The second one is a random item timer. Let's say you want to create more of a specific sniper showdown. This will give an item that you can set up every few seconds. And then also we have custom events, think like the floor is lava, double damage, and even more you can create. You can basically make every type of event because you can combine them. Imagine a match where players starts with an impulse grenade and rising lava begins after 10 seconds. To show you how simple it really is, I'll now set up a few events in under 5 minutes. Okay guys, so I just created a new map and I imported the verse code of the pillar system. Of course the pillars are not here, but this is just to show you of the events. Uh, these are basically all the settings you will get in the creative device. Now, I'll mainly show you how you can create all the events. So all the other things are not filled in, but that doesn't really matter. So here is all events. I'll, let's say I add four events. Okay, so the first one, um, I'm thinking like a fun game, um, a grappler game. So. This will basically need an item on start. So I click on this and I click on this one here. So this is now active. And now I have to fill in here an item grantor. And then I'll make it a grappler, as I said. Hoppa. And then I simply add this item grantor. So now if this event is randomly selected, people will automatically get a grappler. These other two are for the other event types, but I just want a grappler in this event. And then I can also add a hut. So this is just the message that will pop up in the left corner or somewhere else on the screen. And then I'll just set it to event number one. Okay, let's create event number two. Um, let's say I want players to have double the health. So uh, this is basically under the custom events. I'll set this to a value. And then I can have here a begin trigger and an end trigger. So with this, you can basically create anything from, as I said, rising lava, or double damage, but also make changes to the player yourself. So for this, we need a begin trigger and an end trigger. So we'll place those down. Okay. To these triggers, we can simply link a class selector. Of course, make yourself a second class selector. That's for the standard. Plus one is our standard version. And let's say this one is the one with less health. Now we simply just place down a class designer and then we'll see on class slot two, we'll change the health, max health. Let's say double health. I think that's cool. And now if you link the class selectors to the triggers, so change player to class when this is our normal class and this is the end trigger. So we'll pick this one because we at the end we still have to change to the normal class. This is our 200 health class. Then we can simply pick this one as the begin trigger. So if this event gets picked, then this trigger will trigger and it will give 200 health. So yeah. And now we can go on. You can also set up a HUD here and now we make it simply number two. So as I said, you can also combine things. So let's say I have an item on start and the custom. You can simply fill them both in and then you can create super cool events. So it's really up to your creativity and with basic simple things of connecting devices that you can create awesome events. During the gameplay, items spawn at your chosen intervals. So now in the game you're seeing, I set it at five seconds, but you can make it even faster or even slower. Of course, some people will try to camp, but you can enable a custom storm system, our own square storm or the default Fortnite one. 
At the end of every round, the winner gets a nice cinematic spotlight before the next round begins. The system is perfect for both beginners and advanced creators. No coding stress, just build fun and creativity. Don't forget, pre-order now on our Patreon for $10 off until May 7th, links in the description. If you have any questions or you're not sure if this system fits for you, just hit us up in Discord and we're happy to help you. Thanks for watching, bye bye.